Mexico City is the global king of smog, but the structure surrounding this building, which contains titanium dioxide that activates with sunlight, reduces the impact of air pollution. The technology behind this smog-eating building was developed by Berlin-based design firm Elegant Embellishments. First developed some prototypes around this idea that we had um, we showed them in the Venice Biennale in 2008 as part of the German pavilion. And at that Venice Biennale, there were representatives of the hospital in Mexico City, the architects who built the hospital. And I think they put the, the problem together with the solution. This was a government initiative fully funded by the Ministry of Health. I feel very proud to be part of this hospital. It's a hospital that first started only treating tuberculosis, and now it's multiple specialities. So I feel very proud to work here. This project is the first of its kind in the world. It's the largest urban air purifier with 5,000 square meters of technology, which reduces pollution equivalent to the output from about 1,000 cars per day in Mexico City. The toxic consequences of air pollution made architects like Javier Senosain try to find the harmony between human habitation and the natural world. We don't have the life quality that our ancestors had. There is a very clear trend to go back to our origins and have more contact with nature. Natural resources are an essential part of architect Elias Catan's work. He's mainly focused on regenerative development. I believe architecture must serve a, a, a deeper role to connect us to, to our ecosystems, to our environment, and, and to the cosmos as well. In, in, in that sense, how we should apply ancient architecture now, I believe it, it, it also needs to be producing better habitat. Construction has one of the largest carbon footprints in the world. In this context, ecological awareness becomes essential to building a healthier environment in many of the world's most polluted cities. Valeria Leon. U News, Mexico City.